Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in the Wandering Village. All right, guys. We've got Ambu. He is doing his thing, just kind of wandering around here. We're turning. We've got a storm coming through here, and our eh, our sleepiness is over 54%. We have a sleepy spot right there, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna make it if we uh, if we try to run. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get over here a little bit closer and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna let the storm kind of pass us, and then we're gonna try to try to take off again. I'm gonna get a little bit closer here, and then I'm gonna have Ambu sit. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and lay down right here. And let's go. All right, Ambu, you got this. Oh, yeah, we got this. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. We are through. Good. All right, so let me see. We need to switch over to corn. There we go. All right, and he'll sleep right there. That's fine. Uh, I'm not seeing any iron mines. I need iron. I guess I'm going to go ahead and send a party out for some sand. Oh, you slept before the comfy spot, dude. Like, were you really that tired that you couldn't take, like, two more steps? I guess so. I guess so. All right. Well, it is what it is. All right. Didn't... I'm a bit confused here. Didn't we chop down all of these trees yesterday? Hmm. I thought we did. I was trying to work on getting that achievement of cutting down all the trees, but for some reason, I don't know if the trees grew back or if they, like, just never got cut or what the deal is. But, yeah, let's let's cut these trees down. I mean, I've got 275 saplings. It's not like we have a lack of saplings to regrow everything, so. Go ahead and cut those down. Give Ambu a clean shave here. See if we can't get some achievements going. Um, how are we doing on decoration? We are at 6% on decoration. Housing quality has dropped. Why is our housing quality dropped? I haven't built... Um, probably because, oh, because we need housing. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yes, and we can't build anymore because we don't have any iron. Yeah, I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm trying to max it out, but it seems like the only way, I mean, I guess if we killed off some of our population, we probably could, but uh, I'd rather not do that if possible. Oh, that really, yeah, that's really like that, isn't it? Huh. Okay, so can we go ahead and just add in a couple of, let's see, that is a value of two, that's a value of three, that's a value of six, that's a six. Yeah, let's put in one of these, and then I'm going to put in an arch. That should give us, uh, what, three and two. That should give us five more. That'll bring us up to 11. That should, that should help out a little bit, I would think. At least for these houses. All right, where are we at with stuff? 
Those nomads are crossing the desert. Our guys are empty. Go ahead and send him over here for stone. I'll wait until Ombu wakes up. It looks like we're going to miss these guys. And if we do, eh, that's okay. I was trying to get up a higher population, but if we're trying to max out stats at the same time, every time I pick up more people, it's going to be that much harder. At least until I get a good supply of iron. Um, yeah, we'll just keep, we'll just keep doing things slowly, but surely we'll get there. So that one's just a little bit low, huh? I wonder if I put in... No, it wouldn't reach that one. Well, that's not any good. If I put that guy there, though... Go ahead and clear cutting. Remove all of those trees. How many extra people do we have right now? We have 12 unemployed. Okay. And our fish farm is probably neat. Well. I don't know, maybe we should just leave it turned on so that as we go from biome to biome, it just automatically resumes. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but... Come on, show me an iron mine somewhere. Somewhere, anywhere. I bet a lot of them has to do with my reduced visibility. I bet you we probably pass all kinds of mines and stuff that are just out of my reach. Okay, so we got double heat waves. That's not good. We still got 950 water, so we're not we're not too bad off since we just got in here. Okay, are all, oh, I was about to say, are all the trees are gone. Why didn't I get my achievement? No, we missed one. Unless there's a little, like, sprout somewhere. No? They better not count that as a tree. It's a decoration, not a tree. Well, I don't know. It didn't it didn't say anything. Okay, hang on one second here, guys. Okay, guys, I'm not really sure why it didn't give me my achievement. I looked all around all around uh Ombu's back. I have not seen another tree. I haven't even seen like a little sapling. So unless it's counting that decoration as a tree. 
Or maybe like, that's a bush. Yeah, I really don't know. I don't know. Of course, then again, I had a bug the other day when we lost one of our people. It didn't give me the achievement for that until the second time that I lost someone. So, I don't know. It There might be an issue with it. Who knows? But either way, we're going to keep going. I'm not going to worry about that achievement right now. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We've got a sand dune. I'm going to send someone there. I'm going to send someone over here as well. Let's get back in. Do we want to go? Do I want to go ocean? Or do we want to go into the green? Back into the jungle? Kind of want to go back into the ocean, but then again, I kind of don't. You know what? I think we're going to go north. Still looking for the tree. I know it's here somewhere. Oh well, I don't know. It is what it is. Think quickly. Okay. Uh, yeah, find something to get them out. Water and sand. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very, very nice. Alright. I need iron. That's what I need. I need iron. But it looks like that's the one thing they're gonna they're gonna withhold withhold from me is the iron. I don't know about y'all, but I'd be kind of suspicious if I found a ruined village and found bread in it. I'd be like, hmm. But like, why do we have bread in a rundown village? Not complaining. I take it. I'm just saying. I'd be suspicious of it. I'd look. Oh, there's an iron mine. No, give me my party pack. <laughs> uh, figures. I would send them over there and there'd be an iron mine right there. That's alright. We should be able to get to it. At some point. We'll give them a moment. While we're waiting, we'll just kind of. Well, we are back. We're back in. We're about to transit. Yeah, no, we're in. Even though it looks like desert, we're back in. Okay, let's switch back to beets. Back to beets, and where is, was it this one? Back to beets. Okay, got our crops rotated back, air wells are kicked back on. Um, our fish, we've got, we've got a ton of fish right now. We don't have much cooked fish, but we do have stuff. Okay, I'm going to switch off of polenta and go into grilled fish. We're up to 7% on our deco. That's good. We're at 149. That's not too bad. Still waiting on one of these to finish. Come on. Give me my iron. That way I can build a couple more houses. 
Of course. What happened? Settlers. I guess pick them up. One. Okay. I try not to leave people behind. Ambu's going to take a nap. Yeah, let's see how many people get poisoned. Alright, well we'll let that run for a bit. How far have we traveled? 3,415 kilometers so we've put on some distance since last time i had mentioned because i think I, the last time we had mentioned the distance was at 2800 2900 something around there 28 29 it was it was right under three so we've we've put on close to 500 something kilometers since then that's not too bad we've been trekking it tra uh making our making our way I guess we can send one there since we're sleeping. It'll be a minute, so we might as well grab it while it's there. I mean, there's nothing else we can grab, so. How much iron did I end up getting? Did we, could we build a house? Did we build anything from it? They're working on stuff, so it looks like we're gonna get two buildings built, maybe? No. Well, maybe if we got one more iron cooking. Uh, I don't think we do. Oh, no, no, we do. We do. So, yes, we got two more two more houses. That's great. Um, we need to add in some more deco to boost those up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and throw in one of those. And we'll throw in another statue. Oh, no, we can't. We're going to have to throw in a arch. So, we'll do that. That should, let's see, that would be three. That's five, so that will give us an extra five on that. That will raise that one up to seven. That will probably raise that one up a couple points as well. I don't know if we'll be able to get it maxed out, but I would like to see it get, you know, pretty high up there. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Um, as your scavengers arrive at the shrine, they are suddenly enveloped by a mysterious, dense fog. The closer they get to the shrine sanctum, the more they feel like they are being watched. Humbug, let's do what we came here for. This is There is a mysterious presence here. Maybe it will let us pass if we pay tribute. And something doesn't want us here. Let's give them some bread. Let's see what happens. The tribute is immediately enveloped by an opaque fog. A few seconds later, it has disappeared. A gentle, fragrant wind clears the fog, and the passage to the sanctum is open. Foreknowledge and high productivity is triggered. Let's see how high our stuff is. We are at 178%. So we do have, oh, that would have been so high. So we've got a negative 4% right now. So if we would have add, if we could get rid of the 4%, that would boost us up to what, 182? And that's, yeah, that's, 
182, and then if uh, the decoration, if we would add 8 to that, yep, that'd be 15. Yeah, I want to say that I do believe... Uh, oh, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, one of y'all were in the comments talking about it. You just said it before I started today's video about it being 190%. I do believe you were correct, and I do apologize for not remembering what your username was. So I do apologize. I've been looking at a bunch of stuff today. But yes, I do think it does max out um, at 190. And yeah, we're, we're not too far off of it. Housing quality is not too bad. I mean, I think one more one more house will help tremendously. I think it's going to take us two to get where we actually need to max it out again. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should back off on picking people up. I don't know. It... Anbu, you want to go ahead and walk? I know you're not fully awake yet, but let's go ahead and start walking. That way our 40-something people aren't poisoned anymore. That is... I don't know. Uh... You know, you would think with the air being low toxicity that you wouldn't get that many that many people poisoned, especially with the better housing. I, I really think the dev should should look at improving the later game a little bit. That's that's my that's my two cents on it, is I really think you should be able to have it to where you're not spending as much resources once you've spent the resources, you know, either better doctors, better housing, better something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's asking too much. I don't know. What do y'all think? Should the end game, should you be able to get to a point to where your people are more protected at like an extreme cost? Or would you rather it stay like it is to where there's always that element of danger? Me personally, I, I like I feel achieved when I can get them, you know, to to that certain point where you know everything's everything's situated, everybody's good. There's no no one dying. Like right now, when we got plenty of food, I love it. That's like super awesome in my mind when we have so much food that you know everybody's just eating and enjoying things and all that speaking of which i need to make sure i just realized our berries have zeroed out i'm wondering if we have too many too many kitchens running the berries and not enough uh gatherers so we probably ought to grab another one really fast just to make sure that we have enough and where do i want to set up another berry farm right here that's 100% efficiency right there. Let's just set it up right there. So we'll set that up right there. I'll just run a dirt road up to it like so. That'll be good for me. That'll give us one more berry collector. I mean, because we've got, yeah, we've got extra people. That's not going to hurt us to run another berry collector. In fact, it probably wouldn't hurt if I had set up another one right next to it for all of these as well how much how, what efficiency would i get if i did that forty five percent so that one wouldn't be as good now let's not let's not do that if i did that one that'd be sixty seven so that would be better than where we're at uh, what do we got? Did you... Oh, you decided... Okay, Ambu's decided to go this way. That's that's good. I'm okay with that. You lead on, Ambu. You lead on. While I'm over here messing with trying to figure out where to put another berry gatherer. That's at 45%. I could put another one here, but... You know what? Put one right there. So we're going to do that. Two more. 
two more berry gatherers that way we can increase the amount of those and it looks like we need stone so let's just go ahead and gather up gather up all of this stone right here it's not a bad thing oh did we already ah the quarry's done okay yeah deconstruct that quarry because that's that's out of our our way now all right grab that stone where are we at what are we doing uh ombu's poisoned let's see if we can do something with that antidote send it out our hunger is at 59 percent let's go ahead and feed him by the time they actually get it launched over there to him he should be at 60. Yeah, it'll be close enough. Yeah, close enough. One point's not going to hurt anything. Alright, so we reduce that. That's good. Where are we at? Oh, hold up, hold up. We got, of course we got a cloud there. How many people we got poisoned right now? Only two. I think we're going to go ahead and lay down right here. Go ahead and go to sleep for a minute, Ambu. I'd rather sleep out here than in the middle of that cloud. Yeah, you, you catch... Ooh, there's a mine right there. Go to that mine. I'd rather catch a little bit of poison off of just the air than being asleep inside that cloud. So, we'll do that. And then hopefully we'll get enough uh, we'll get enough iron that we can get these other two cottages built. That's what I'm hoping. And if we can get those two built, that should yeah that should be eight eight housing. So that should push us back up to fifteen on that one. And then I mean we're at one hundred and fifty one right now. So that's the highest we've ever gotten. Well, I've ever gotten. I don't know how how high of a productivity y'all have gotten without the bonus, but I'm I'm setting setting new personal records here. Still haven't seen any trees though. Oh wait, here's two trees right here. Somehow they regrew. Cut that tree down. Cut this tree down. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe they just look like bushes. Ah, here's another little tree right there. Well, you should be... Well, no, you're not in range of that. Okay. And there's more trees. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe I, I had to have missed a little, a little baby tree somewhere. That's all I can think of is I had to have missed one. I just want the achievement. Yeah, it's throwing out tree. Of course, that one should be collected, though. Oh, that's already scavenged. What's this? A dune. Yes, send them out to the dune. Alright, where are we at? We've got 40. Ooh. Come on, move across my path. That way I can go without dying. Yeah, I know many of the villagers are poisoned. And I know I've got 16 badly poisoned. Okay, I think we can walk again. Alright, Ambu, up and at him. We got one of our houses built. We're waiting on three iron for that one. 
Well, we did get our housing quality up good, so it's there. But yet, oh, because we're 6%. Hey, and our decoration increased, so we should, as soon as our people are, are not poisoned, that should give us 152, I believe. Send them up there to that quarry. Are they healing slowly? We're back to 149. Yeah, we'll be at 152. Yep. Little by little, we are making it. We are getting there. Hopefully when we get that sand, we'll uh, be able to finish that. You know what? In fact, I think I'm going to pause the sand, uh, the, the glass blower for a little bit. That way I can continue to build our, our archways and stuff. Twenty-five sand, excellent. Go ahead and grab some more stone. Y'all are going that way. Y'all have moved across the thing. That's fine. That guy's moving across. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think that's probably about it for today's video. We made it a little bit further. Uh, our our progress. I like our progress so far. We are. Yeah, we still got a handful of poison people, so we don't really can't count that but yes our productivity is is pretty high i'm liking it so but anyway that's going to be it for today's video i do hope everyone has enjoyed it if you have be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button it is an awesome way for you to show your support to me to the channel to the video and to the game itself and as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.